Good evening. A bitter feud has erupted between the state and federal governments with South Australian pensioners caught in the middle. The Premier launching an expensive advertising campaign against what he says are cruel Commonwealth concession cuts, but accused of wasting taxpayers' money on his war chest. A political advertisement like this isn't usually seen outside of an election campaign. They just don't care. But today, Premier Jay Weatherall launched a new television campaign against federal you cuts to pensioner concessions on council rates, which the state government has covered so far. We believe it's a cruel cut. It should be reversed. South Australian taxpayers shouldn't pick up the bill. But taxpayers will pick up the bill for the campaign, which leads up to the May federal budget, prompting a furious response from South Australian Federal Minister Jamie Briggs. Premier Weatherall's announcement this afternoon uh, is one of the greatest examples of a, an abuse, a misuse, uh, a politicisation of taxpayers' money seen in our country's history. Premier Weatherall says the ads fall within his $1.1 million federal cuts campaign budget. He says there's no guarantee the state government will continue to subsidise the concessions, which means pensioners would pay the price. But opposition leader Stephen Marshall says that's a hollow threat because any decision to pass on the cut would have to be approved by Parliament and he'll block it. We're going to join with uh, crossbenchers in the Legislative Council to block it and it'll be much better for this government to be spending their $1.1 million supporting our pensioners. While other state governments have maintained pensioner concessions with their own funds, that's something Premier Weatherall isn't prepared to do, at least for now. If we are successful in this campaign, it will be good for South Australians. We will be responding with a campaign of truth to these Labor lies. Eddie Godfrey, Nine News. Yes,